So, Love Island. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Right. This is the start. Okay? I'm waving my arms frantically. Okay? <laughs> Love Island. Let's do this. It's pissing me off. Yeah, so... Everyone's happy. Not sure well, when this is going really. out, but today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> We've just seen Wednesday's episode. There's trash. probably... It, it was it's pretty trash. Boring. Literally, the last minute was the only minute worth well, watching. Well, only because... I, what I realised with Love Island is... It's only good when a new person comes in and like one or two episodes afterwards. Yeah, it's because they then couple up with someone and it's like, yeah, done. See how like the, the whole Tommy and Mora situation was so exciting and suddenly he decides to commit yeah. to They did the recoupling Molly. too soon. Yeah, and then but I think they had to because of the fact that they had to get rid of some people. Yeah, but they... Because do you uh, see how Sher- I Sharif said... Went out. I don't know if I said it last time. Mm. On the last podcast we did, I don't know if I said... What they need to do is because they weren't coupled up yet, yeah. they needed to do a challenge where Molly and Mora have to do something sexual or like a lap dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To Tommy. Because okay. Mora would go for it, Molly would be really like withdrawn. Yeah. And they did that. They did the thing where they had to pull them and then kiss them. Oh yeah, and someone couldn't Molly just couldn't move him. Yeah. She was pulling him, yeah. And Mora literally just like just for, it. just for reference, in the last season or usual seasons of Levan, they do do a lap dance competition. <laughs> do do <laughs> do do. Sam is not just making it up. He's not thinking like you know. Yeah, be, no, no, no. Yeah, you yeah. know what would be sick? They do a lap dance. <laughs> <laughs> they do this. I don't on the even show. want to watch the lap dance. I just want to see Tommy. Like the more sexual things that Mora was doing, Tommy. Tommy was like more like. Yeah, uh, well, I think I think I deep know. down he wanted to go with her, but I think he was scared because she was so forward. I think he was scared that if he went with her, she would then just turn and go with the new guy yeah. as soon as they, I guess, get closer. Yeah. And then where, where, whereas he's thinking he's got more uh, Molly, like completely fighting over him, he's like, that's a safe bet. Yeah. And the thing about Love Island is the longer you go in the show, the more likely people are going to notice you. And then the more likely when you come out of the villa, you're going to get better deals and better you know, commercials yeah. and all that stuff. So I think like people will try and obviously you want to stay in as long as possible. It's not like a weird thing to assume that, <laughs> but yeah. So in that last two minutes of today, mm. literally Molly, they're in bed and Molly just goes, Oh yeah. It's, it's fucking massive. I think she was talking about her toy elephant. No, the elephant was at the other side of the bed. Oh, okay. He was talking about his toy elephant. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I thought you were really nice today. Where's my credit? But th- literally, that moment just got... It was It was just like a little passing comment. Yeah, yeah as, as if like... And that yeah. was it. A comment like the guy who talks over it literally didn't say anything. Ian, Ian Sterling. Sure. I follow him on Instagram. He's really funny. Really? I like how they actually have like a good comedian to do the show. Yeah, he is really funny too. It, it's not just a random... Okay. Voice actor. I want to know. Yeah, I want. I want. I want to say something here. He makes jokes that are unfunny, but be funny, and he gets credit for it. When I do that, I don't get credit for it. But I think it's all about the situation and the timing. True. You do it at a funeral. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. And also, I've never been to a funeral with you, apart from the time. Oh, I don't know. Forget it. <laughs> Was that you were trying to make a joke? I was going to make a joke. Something like, apart from when. JJ dissing at nobody or something. Oh, okay. But I didn't really want to cause any. Yeah. yeah. Well, you said it now. It's too late. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So then Damn. the new girl's coming in tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. And she's going to hopefully she says, and then, no, then Curtis, who's in a really strong relationship with Amy, but I think it's fake. You know, I can, I can tell you exactly what that's going to be. It's going to be, let me guess what you're going to say. He knows her from before. I didn't think of that. That okay. wasn't what I was going to say. Okay. So the way he did it, basically, I think it's going to be he wakes up first. She's outside already. Uh, okay. She doesn't get introduced. She's just on a sunbed. And oh, he's yeah. like, he turns around and sees someone and is like, oh my God. Because he does look like he's just woken up. Yeah. Okay, that's a good point. And he's like, oh my God, there's a new person. But it makes it look like he's going to, like he's just looked at her and gone, oh my God, I have to leave Amy for her. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely that's not what, that. No, it's 100%. Uh, yeah, yeah, 100% not, not that. Uh, they've just clickbaited it. You know, the Love Island production team are the best. Yeah, they're very good at clickbait. Like, imagine having like a team like that behind a YouTube channel. So when I Insane. watch this with JJ, right? Yeah. We, when we watch it, you know the bits, so we sometimes record it and then watch it like a little bit after so we can fast forward the breaks. Yeah. So you know the bits where it's like, coming up on Love Island. Wait, you fast forward through Calyx and Sarah's? Except that one. We can watch that one. Sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it says like coming up and it shows like two clips. Yeah. And they're like, the way they edit those is massively clickbait. Yeah. So I fast forwarded one once and JJ was like, whoa, 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 we need to see that. And I was like, we're literally going to see it in 
three seconds. Yeah, this, this, yeah. But it, you don't see it in the same context as you see it. Okay. As when you see, when you see coming up on Love Island, yeah. there'll be like the Curtis bit. But you'll fast forward the break, you'll get to it, and it's just a normal moment. There's a show, like a sitcom type thing, like How I Met Your Mother style, where every single next time on yeah. never happens. So Arrested Development. Okay. Okay. Every, every, at the end of every episode of Arrested Development, they do a next time on Arrested Development. And literally what they show never happens. They just joke. It's just, it's just a lie. Oh, okay. They just do like, it's like a mini skit. So you know, you know how at the start yeah, of yeah. Brooklyn Nine-Nine, they always do like a funny thing. Yeah. It's like that. But like, when I first watched it, I was so confused because I was like, oh, I'm really excited for the next episode to see this happen. <laughs> it just never happened. But yeah, that's a funny little thing. But you haven't seen Arrested Development, so you should watch that as your next one. I'm currently watching through Happy. I don't know what that is. It's, it's actually really good. I think you've explained it to me, but it didn't sound as... It's, like, it's the one where it's like a, an ex-cop turned hitman. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, he, he has like a imaginary friend that's like a blue unicorn. Is it like a 30 minute type thing? It's an hour. Okay, so it's, it's like, like, more like more like a drama. It's like, it, yeah. Okay. It's a comedy comedy drama. Yeah, yeah, but not like a sitcom type thing like Friends. And, no, 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 yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, they got you. I'm also watching When They See Us. Why are you watching two things at once? Yeah. That's a first for Simon. No, I do it every now and then because when they see us, there's only four parts. Okay. okay. And I watched that one. Me and JJ have been watching it. Okay. So he's probably going to watch it while you're away on tour. Most likely. Which means I need to watch it because we're literally halfway through episode three and there's only four episodes. Halfway through what? You just we're paused it and left it? Yeah, we had oh. to. Love Island was on. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Honestly, we, we should get back to Love Island. That just as a heads up. Yeah, yeah. When they see us is sick. Yeah, I've, I think I've heard about it. Is it that magician thing? No, 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 no. What's no. that called? No idea. All right, never mind. When they see us is, um, it's basically, uh, I don't know how to explain it without giving much away. Basically, it's like f- a few kids get put into a, uh, they get taken by the police kind of thing. A witness protection type thing? No, no, they get taken by the police for a case. Okay. As suspects. Oh, okay. And they basically try and make the kids sign and say they did it. And then it's like oh, that whole like shit. legal battle. It's like oh, based on good. a true story too. Oh, nice. It's kind of like, a, it reminded me of, you ever seen the Khalif Browder story? Yes. It reminded me kind oh, of... Oh, when they see us. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, of course I know that. Yeah, I know this. Yeah, I know the story. I saw the story on a different show. Yeah. It, it's like one of those shows where, yeah, I, yeah so me and Laura really want to watch that. Sorry, yeah. I, I completely forgot. <laughs> Wait, now I yeah, know what you no, mean. No, honestly, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's insane, but I, I left every, like, every time I even like pause it or whatever, I'm so angry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, uh, anyway, but yeah, back to Love Island. So you, you were saying there's no point. You might as well skip the breaks because you're going to see them. Yeah, yeah. So it's like it's like when you when you know when you know you're going to go see a film, like you know you're going to see it. Like why watch the trailer? Exactly. It's like see this new Spider Man. Like everyone's like, oh, have you seen the trailer? I'm like, I no, don't because think I have. why would I? I know I will go to watch yeah. the new Spider Man. Says so why would I watch the trailer? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, he's also the, the best best Spider Man. Yeah, he's, he's really the best good. Peter Parker. Yeah, I mean, Tobey Maguire. He's the first one, right? Yeah, That's classic Toby still. Maguire, then who was the other one? It was Andrew Garfield. So it was like, uh, Toby, Toby Maguire is the best. Sp- I, I saw it online. It was like, Toby Maguire is like the best Spider Man. Andrew Garfield's the best Peter Parker. Oh, okay. And then Tom Holland came through and was just better at both. both yeah, Tom Holland is nice. It, guy. it might have been the other way around for the first two. Yeah. Anyway, so Love Island. <laughs> yes. <laughs> People who have skipped have now missed out on great content. To do with uh, great but... content's a bit, a bit bold. But okay, <laughs> carry on. So you were talking about how the new girl came in. Uh, I wanted to say something about so Anna and Michael. First of all, Michael's hairstyle. Wait, not Michael. Anna and my. You mean Anna and Jordan? Jordan. Sorry, yeah. It's hard to keep up with the name. Michael and Amber. Okay, yeah. His hair was mad. His hair. He had that. He had that classic like crackhead look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally like just balls on his head. It was kind of like you ever seen Orange Is the New Black? Yes crazy yeah 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 yeah. It's like she had that hair sometimes yeah well he like he what i like about it well to be fair she said oh that's at least you're confident about it and to be fair that is true like if, yeah, you, if yeah, you're gonna do true. something crazy at least be confident and it can work yeah. but i was not a fan personally i was i was not a fan yeah, yeah. especially when i first saw it because you said oh look at his hair and i missed it and they, did, they didn't come back to him for like minutes like, like and then they minutes. gave him like a full-on like <laughs> <Yeah>. bam, <laughs> there face is. in face the only thing in shot is his face and his hair yeah, yeah anyway was... so they kissed right 
What I was going to say is I hate the way they set the kisses up. First of all, the way we're talking about the Love Island producers being so good at like clickbait, they're also so good at like setting things up because yeah. you know they go, you know they tell people to go for a date when they have nothing else to show. Yeah. Because it's a way for them to get like proper cameras out and set it up. But if you notice how like someone will be having a conversation, say Tommy or Molly, and they'll be on like the bed, but you'll notice like they don't just have the cameras that are like GoPros in the corner. They have like the actual proper cameras like panning. Yeah. I'm like, you need like four or five guys to set up. Like you've been in shoots, like sideman shoots but also like big big shoots where yeah. it takes a while for this stuff to get set up like you can't just go so you, you know they're like you know the producers are like all right go and sit on that bed yeah and just talk about your relationship because they're in there daily so it's like how often are they actually going to talk like that about progressing the relationship yeah so they set, set a lot of things up which is good for our entertainment but what i'm saying is the kiss it's so awkward because they both know they're going to kiss right so yeah because earlier on in the episode they say if he lent in for a kiss would you reciprocate yeah. and she was like yes she said yes and he sat right there and he's just like oh cool <laughs> interesting and then uh anton is like giving him mouth spray yeah mints or yeah it was like a mint mouth yeah, spray. yeah yeah and then anna is like oh i'm going for a wee which is obviously gonna go brush her teeth yeah. i want to know first of all what are they doing right like to have that bad breath when all they do <laughs> all they do is sit around in the villa all day like and drink water yeah, like <laughs> yeah like what they're doing like is they, is they just having garlic every night or some shit his first kiss though True. It was, I mean, it's first kiss and it's like, you literally have a toothbrush. Yeah. Five meters away. But that's what I'm saying. Like, you may as well, innit? But I guess like the beauty of like a first kiss is the fact that it is like spontaneous. Yeah. But at the same time, if I knew that I had this many people watching me online <laughs> and on TV and stuff, true, I'm going to go for a first kiss and this person goes, because you, you okay, see how yeah, she, yeah, yeah. she went straight back to the girls and was like, he's an amazing kisser. Yeah, true. Imagine, imagine. She comes back and he's like, his breath yeah. stinks. Yeah, he got bad breath. What's yeah, up? Yeah. Everyone's just there like, <laughs> yo. Any girl, any girl later in life, that are like when he comes out, oh, you're like, nah, you have stinky breath. Yeah, for I'm sure. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Anyway, so she, she goes to brush her teeth. She says, I'm going for a wee, but she's really going to brush her teeth. And they come back and they walk all the way over to like the seat that swings. <laughs> the, the swing seat. Yeah, yeah that one. <laughs> but it's, like a really big, it's not like a seat. It's like a whole sofa thing weird yeah. <laughs> anyway <laughs> so they're just talking to each other and making like small talk they both know they're gonna kiss in a minute but they're just not doing it so they're doing all this like weird like touchy thing and like yeah, talking like, oh, do you like... like being tickled <laughs> oh yeah well i like being touched oh where <laughs> just everywhere okay <laughs> and then they look away and then she just goes through it i'm like look just kiss like we know we know what's going on here the music's yeah. like all romantic just do it man so this girl let's have predictions okay it's new girl yeah well, what are your predictions just in general right now? Oh, uh, my, my, well, okay. Not so much a prediction, but my thought is that Yuande and Danny, Danny, neither, neither of them like each other. I don't know why she's so mad. See, I think Danny does. Really? Yeah. She's, she's mad that he just wants to be reassured that she likes him. Yeah. Cause he's there like, oh, I like you way more than you think. But he, he doesn't say it like, he just, he just says stuff like, yeah, I'm really into you. He doesn't, See, he doesn't show us or her that he actually is. He, he just, it's like he's just saying but it. Get, as you just said, we don't see everything. Yeah, but also remember that when he came in, she was the only girl, I think, that was not in a serious couple. So she's probably thinking like, look. But Molly was into him. She was, but then that whole thing with Tommy happened pretty soon after that. So t- Molly can't be like, oh yeah, Tommy, 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 and then go back to Danny at that point. Yeah. I, I think they're a good couple, but I, like, it's annoying me that they're both like, they're both... Don't seem that they actually want to be with each other. Okay, so you think they're gonna? I think he may he may go for the new girl or something. But I, I do like them as a couple. I just don't think they 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 do. Okay, know? what else? Well, there's a new girl coming in, so it must be a guy going for her. So he, it must, it's either him, could be new guy, new guy. I mean, Anton's gonna go. For <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, Anton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So bad, well, he, actually, you know, the funny thing is, he was the one who everybody, like uh, all the YouTube channels, were making fun of because he said that thing, didn't he? Where he was like, uh, "Yeah, I've got great looks, but what really gets the girls is my great banter." Yeah, everyone was like, just, "But yeah. actually, he's one of the nicest guys." He is one of the nicest guys. He's it's really just, nice. He's really too funny. nice. Yeah, so he he'll say something in like the room, you know, when they what, what do you call that room? When they I call it the diary room, but that's Big Brother. Isn't pretty, it? Yeah. Anyway, that that room they go to and talk to the producers or talk to the camera. They like, he always says stuff that's true. But then he'll go to the girl or whoever he's talking to and just let them like he, he says the right things like he's like he's speaking to elmer and he was like yeah just uh you know 
crack on with him if you want to. I can't stop you. Yeah. And I'm like, don't say that. And he was also talking to the new guy. And he and was it's, like, it's if you want like, to, go for it. Don't, don't want you know. So you don't, have to, you don't have to say like, you can't talk to other people, but you don't have to encourage them to go talk to other Yeah, you could say like, oh yeah, go and talk to her as much as you want. Like, that's fine by me, but I like her as well. So... Or just don't, don't talk about that. Yeah, just say it's just mine. Just be like, look, I'm gonna get to know you. Full stop. Yeah. Don't mention the others. Yeah. I don't, uh, it's... So he's too nice, but he's, having, he's not having a good look, so hopefully this new one... Nah. New girl. No, 100% not. What, her, not her and Tommy? No. Uh, her and Anton? No. I who, think, who do you think then? I think that she's gonna go after Tom. Yeah, because Tom's the one with... Maura. But not, they're not technically a couple, right? No, and she doesn't really like him that much. Oh, this is an annoying thing, yeah. So as soon as... Uh, Tommy started liking Maura. Maura. Elma. Uh, no, M- Molly was all about Tommy then, after yes. she was flirting with Danny. Yeah. Just because now he's not, a, now, is he, now she feels threatened, she's all over it. Now that M- Maura, Maura was annoyed that he, Tom was talking to Elma, and then as soon as she's gone, she's like, oh, I don't like him. Yeah. What's, what's up with but that? That's why I reckon she'll like Tom, the new guy. Yep. And then Maura will be like, Oh, I didn't get it. Yeah, like, this is my guy, blah, blah, blah. Even the night before she said she didn't yeah. like him. Yeah, true. And then true. someone might even say to the girl, like, oh, she she didn't like him yesterday or something. Yeah. And I think Lucy's going to gravitate towards Tommy. Yeah. Because they just, they're just good friends. Yeah. And I think that's going to annoy Molly. You know what you realised? Well, this whole episode was, like, click <laughs> Sharif wasn't there? <laughs> <laughs> no, click rated to that the fact that Lucy was going to leave the villa. Oh yeah, yeah. She just didn't. She the just cra- whole ep- the whole thing of next time or tomorrow night. Yeah, the whole thing was just Lucy crying. Yeah, that is weird. And I thought that she was going to leave, but they just they, they literally didn't mention bit. it at all. No, nah, she was crying a little bit, and they were talking to the girl at the when, very very start. Yeah, and she yeah. moved on. Yeah, interesting. Sorry, oh, I mean, I'm interrupt. happy that it didn't. I'm happy you didn't talk about that. Yeah, yeah. It's but, like, look, if you want to leave, leave. If you don't, don't. Yeah. No. I don't. I don't like it how they. Yeah, I don't like how they. To be fair, I don't think they. I guess they should. There's someone who left last year because they're no. You remember that one? I don't know if it was the two years ago or last year. It was someone called Theo. Remember the the sprinter? There's a guy called Theo. I literally who started halfway through last season. Okay, it might have been the one before. So someone left, right? And they were like really heartbroken that they had to leave. Uh, like the couple were heartbroken. So one they got they got split up. No way! I do remember that the girl left. Or he left, and Theo was like, and they were kissing, blah, blah, blah. She's like, oh, I'm so sorry that you're gonna leave. And Theo was like, well, if you're that sorry, why don't you just leave? And then everyone's like, you can't, oh my God, you can't I say that. that happened last year as well at the final recoupling. Maybe. They were like by a pool as well. Not, not They were at a different house by a pool. Oh, I don't know. This one I'm thinking of was literally as, as he was leaving, as he or she was leaving, and the other one said, oh, I'm so, I'm so good, you're leaving. He was like, if you really care, do you just leave now? I mean, they haven't, like, for example, her to leave because of Joe. Yeah. They've known each other a couple weeks. Yeah, and especially like very recently, he was having a go at her for talking to Tommy. And yeah. he literally said... But as a load of people, loads of people have said on social media, like, you can't see the whole time. They literally paint Joe to be out. Like, as, like, True, yeah. They, yeah, they do that. that. That is the hard thing about Love Island. It is a very, like, to be entertaining, they do have to, unfortunately, like... Make some people villains and some people... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But we well, haven't seen the whole thing, but... I did notice that on the night where it was threatened that someone was going to leave, everyone was like really working hard to like make their relationship better. Yeah. That, that's, that's why the whole uh, Yuan Day thing happened when she was like trying to think, like, say like, look, what are we? Yeah. Um, same with Joe. He was like, I'm so sorry, you know, but yeah, yeah. You, yeah. you don't see much on the band. Honestly, right see. now I'm kind of like, I know that, I mean, right now this girl's just come in or yeah. going to come in tomorrow. I'm kind of there like nothing Nothing's really happening right now until she's here. Yeah. Yeah. There's, it's kind of annoying. I wanted to talk more about this and get really annoyed about things. Yeah, what I realized while watching it, because obviously we knew, we, we decided to record this podcast after the episode to be able to talk about it. I'm glad we don't do one after every episode. No, 100%. There's not always everything, there's not something to talk about. Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing, like, as I said to you, I actually would happily do an episode after, like, we could do a video. Yeah. We wouldn't put this as a... As a podcast. Like, yeah, we wouldn't put this as a podcast, but we might do an episode just a 10 minute video yeah. after every, not every, after well, everyone that every episode watch. that we watch together Yeah, yeah. and you're I'll, here. I'll come over more as well. Laura, Laura wants to come and watch some as well. Yeah, I'd definitely be down to do that. Yeah, for sure. Easy. Just literally 10 minutes. Right. What'd you think? Go. Mm. Why 10 minutes? <laughs> Ads. Yeah. <laughs> we need mid-rolls. Great. We've got to earn some dollar. Yep, yep. I, what I want to say as well is we've also thought about doing that 
for unrelated things as well. Like sometimes if you want to talk about something that's not on the podcast, we just come here and talk. Like this is like a nice setup to just talk about things. Wait, are we done with Love Island then? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm frantically waving my arms for people who can't see us right now. 